Queens, handsome kings, welcome to Unique and Unapologetic Tarot. How you doing, beautiful queens and handsome kings? Subscribers, I'm subscribers and cross watchers. Welcome, beautiful queens and handsome kings. Thank you everybody for donations and thank anybody that's got personal reads. I love you, beautiful queens and handsome kings. Knit it to yourself. Now your chest burns and your back aches. Well, y'all have the runner. Runner is codependent relationships, fear, intimacy, listening to ego. So my beautiful queens and handsome kings, y'all have a runner. Y'all have somebody in your life or you put out your life that has a codependency relationship. The runner, maybe they thought you was going to run after them. Fear, intimacy. Mm. Maybe he couldn't get it up or she was dry through intimacy because they have a fear of intimacy. Um, they listen to the ego, my beautiful queen and handsome king. You are cross watchers, they say. Love. Unconditional love, self-love, oneness, passion, affection, attraction. Love. This person's only going to be able to give you, or you're going to only going to be able to give somebody real love once you have that oneness and passion for yourself, affection and attraction. It doesn't mean that this person is not attracted to you, but maybe they've never knew real affection before. But at the bottom of the deck, mm, they said take it. This makes a difference. This person is a snake. <laughs> this person never could have one affection for you because they looked at you as competition. They was truly your enemy. They was clever. They're malicious. They got you looking over your shoulder now or you already looked over your shoulder and the other woman. So. This person was working, had another woman in their life or working with another woman against you maliciously. No one has the power to hurt you like your king. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Have you ever tried to cut your own hair? Have you ever been on an awful blind date? So my beautiful queens and handsome kings, maybe you've met this person through friends or family on a blind date and realized how awful they was. Have you ever tried to cut your own hair? Maybe you tried to cut your own hair and you messed up and you went to your beautician or barber and met this person. Mm. I would say right now, focus on your own self-love and your oneness and your affection and be attracted to yourself. Being attracted to yourself will bring that unconditional love that you truly desire and God wants you to have, my beautiful queens and handsome kings, because um, Give me the runner. Give me the codependent. Yes, this person has a dependency on your energy. They don't use their intuition because they don't have no intuition. They have a dependency on you. This is a manipulator. It says codependent, fear, intimacy. They listen to their ego. And with the Queen of Cups coming upside down, yeah, baby, this person definitely, they're a manipulator. They depend on people's energy, money. They listen to their ego. Yeah. And they have a fear of change. They are not even trying to change. They like being codependent to relationships. They're trying to delay a disaster or avoid change in their life. 
now. We both know tower up or down is happening regardless. Regardless, yeah. Yeah. And they are going to have to face <laughs> their music, judgment. You've already reflected who this person is, but it's going to be awakening out here to the world of who this person is. And they ain't denying it. Here you are, Libra. You've already balanced it now, the world, society, God. It's going to balance the bullshit this person's done to you. And they know it too. That's why they panicking. Why they panicking? I usually don't even take a book, but they told me to take this whole book. This person's panicking because they was trying to so slow down justice and judgment. This person, whatever this person did, whether it was break your heart, gossip about you, harm you, steal your money, you know your story, they w they're they going to get judged for it and they're going to have to face the... And, I want you y'all see what that book says? It says law. It's law. That. And they already know, because I always say with the eight of wands, eight of wands is somebody panicking because they thought they're what they panicking for if they didn't know they was gonna get busted. And this somebody you used to treasure. Y'all know I don't always I don't I do family lovers, friends, business partners. But this is a sibling, a lover. A child, a mother, a father, husband, and wife, business partner. That's my best friend. That's my, this is this person, whoever they was to you in your life, had a codependency on your energy, on your money. Was, they was a they are they. It was a manipulation. Look, and the tower upside down. Like I said, they panicking. They panicking because they got a fear of change. They thought they was going to delay this tower. We know tower up or down is happening, but it's inedible to happen. It's going to be worse. They need to quit delaying this tower and let this tower come on down and go and face the music of whatever they did wrong. So not only your life be balanced, but their life be balanced too. Yeah. Ain't no need of panicking if something that's going to happen regardless. Let it happen. Because you didn't took your freedom and independency. You don't treasure memories. Six cups upside down. You don't treasure memories with this person. You, you see them for who they are. You have unconditional love for yourself. You learn through the, whatever this person did to you. To have oneness and self-love. To have passion for yourself. To have affection and attraction to yourself. And knowing for you to have that affection and attraction to yourself, God is going to give that affection and attraction for the real person. Yeah. You, you hold your own heart. Mm, yeah. This person been spying on you, stalking on you, gossiping, manipulator. Mm. Maybe they cut their own hair. They might try to come back and offer you something. Knight of Pentacles. But check this out. I think whoever was warned against you didn't realize that you was the Knight of Pentacles. You went, you were slow. This is the slowest night of all. But you was dotting all your I's and crossing all your T's. So while they didn't think you knew what they was doing, yes, you did. You was dotting all your I's and crossing all your T's. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And by you dotting all your I's and crossing all your T's, gave you freedom. This devil thought they was going to bind you again. Never. You're not in bondage. You're not even materialistic. You don't have no addictions. You're free. Let's see what this snake is. The snake. What's the snake? It says competition enemy. They was clever too. Some of y'all didn't even know that. Mm. Oh, they said keep them. The snake aggressively tried to stop your transition. Whether it was messing with your vehicle, 
whether it was just messing with your emotions and your mental, whether it was trying to harm you. They aggressively thought you wouldn't have any willpower. But they're learning. They can't judge you, juggle you anymore. They can't juggle you physically, mentally, or financially. And maybe that's why they malicious. Mm. Maybe y'all been looking over y'all shoulder because y'all know this person's been following you in vehicles. Let me get one more and get a tail up out of here. Yeah. This person's finna find out they did bad planning and bad and made a bad decision going against you because God and law is gonna balance this. I love you, beautiful queens and handsome kings. Yeah. They can't be part of your legacy. They greedy. And if they try to make you financially unstable, they finna be financially unstable. 